This week on the GCN Tech Show, we have got custom paint, a new power meter, new bikes, the Bike Vault, your upgrades, and much more. Yeah, so buckle up, strap in, hold tight, it's gonna be a rough old ride. Or something like that. Okay. Right, well, welcome back, Ollie. Mate, did you have a good holiday? Thanks. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was great. Went to the Pyrenees. All oh, right, okay, that's really good. Right. Anyway, right, so this week, Ollie, mate, we're going to talk about something very close to both of our hearts. Eye popping paintwork, custom paintwork, something which really we totally and utterly love. Oh, yeah, well, actually, yeah, I do actually really love that. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I might not be fast, but at least with a custom paint job. <laughs> I can look fast. Oh yeah, and well, do you know what? Actually, you look pretty fast with that. You got windswept hair today. Oh, you. Must have had the roof down. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no. I mean, it's just you know when you go on a bike ride and you stop and you take your your mid bike ride photo. If you've got a nice eye popping paint scheme, well, that's prime bike vault material. But also, it's just there's just something really cool about having something individual that looks awesome and it makes you feel good every time you ride your bike. You just love it, don't you? Yeah. Now, funnily enough, actually, uh, in my infancy at GCN, back before actually GCN Tech even existed, we had a little competition. Uh, you weren't even here, but I can't believe, I mean, it seems like you've been here a lifetime. Uh, but <laughs> back in 2017, we had a competition with Orbea uh, and using their Mayo program, right? Yeah. So it's custom paint work. We all know about it. My design won. And it didn't just win among the office or anything like that, because I could have bought those votes, but yeah. it was the viewers who voted for it. So yeah. I know a little bit about designing my own bike. We've all done stuff, John. I won the school art prize back in the day. Go on. Oh, right, right, okay. So let me just get this right. You've got a story now about Krista Berg singing Lady in Red That's true, in an yeah. Asda car park in Doncaster. Correct. You've got another story about living in the rally factory, the old rally factory. And now we've got a tractor picture that won an award at yeah, school. Yeah, drew a tractor, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, this is brilliant. for another time, John, for okay. another time. All right, the viewers, this is like GCN Tech after dark. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, let's have a look at your award-winning design then, John. It, actually, it was a bike-winning design, but yeah, there we are, nice. not bad, is it? Nice work, you've really gone to town on Keep that. Coming. Keep it coming, yeah. Yeah, you, you're quite artistic, aren't you? Just like you in that tractor. Yeah. <laughs> But um, no, it is, in all seriousness, it's great to see more and more bike brands offering this customization. Mm. I remember you were saying just before like, we started filming that Ridley was one of the first bike brands to offer this kind of service. But the way that you can just be sat at home in your pants on your sofa and have a myriad of options and custom you know, colour schemes. Available. Right, I wonder where you were going there. At your fingertips. It's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is actually really, really good. I mean, you can make a bike look really special and personal to you, or you could even design one for a friend that looks absolutely terrible and send it through yeah. to their inbox, you know, like pea green and brown, something like that, you know, colours that don't yeah. really... Hearing aid brown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But something that's just been launched actually, and I don't think any other mainstream brand has done this, uh, is some really cool, really funky, certainly jaw-dropping designs from the folks at Trek with their part of their uh, Project One customization tool, mm. which of course they currently do have out there. Yeah, and if you swing both ways, um, I don't personally, but if you do ride both road and mountain bike, you may have seen Trek's icon paint jobs on their mountain bikes previously, but now they've hit the road. Yeah, now unfortunately, these icon paint jobs aren't available across the whole range. There are only a handful of bikes which you can put them on, and it does cost a pretty penny too, yeah. about 1,100 pounds. So work that one out into your local currency that too. That is premium paint job, isn't it? Yeah, but there's something about it, I suppose, because if you buy a brand new bike, and then you take it off somewhere to be painted, the thought of that kind of makes, I don't know, gives me a little bit of like creepy feeling that you've mm. just bought a brand new bike, you've taken it somewhere and you said, strip off all that paint. Yeah, and there is the warranty issue. That's the that's, main that's thing true, that people yeah. do talk about is they say, I'd love to get a custom paint job, but a, a lot of bike manufacturers will say that that vo voids your warranty. Yeah. Whereas I guess at least through this way, you're still keeping the, the Trek warranty. Yeah. What do you reckon though? Custom paint jobs, hot or not? not like, hot. you know, really, really hot. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think customization's become really popular in cars as well, and mm. you know, we both like cars. Love cars. And a big way they do it is wrapping. We don't tend to see wrapping much 
in bikes. So wrapping, if no. you're unfamiliar, is they get vinyl sheets and they sort of heat shrink it with a hairdryer and rub it smooth, get rid of all the creases. <laughs> it's quite, it's, it's actually it, quite technical to yeah, do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's when you not, see not it, as easy as what we make out. So yeah. nobody suggests that I try it, especially after recent shenanigans involving bike spraying, hydro dipping, wrap a bike. Ollie, enough. But yeah, uh, <laughs> wrapping of cars is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I've asked some, I've asked some people about the feasibility of wrapping bikes, and it can be done, but apparently it's very fiddly and it adds quite a bit of weight. Yeah, um, I, a friend of mine actually, her boyfriend did it, and it looked absolutely terrible. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm really sorry about that one, but yeah, it, it wasn't wasn't the best. <laughs> but um, we want to know what you think. I think we're going to have a poll up yeah, here, just over there somewhere. somewhere. Would you rather? I love that game. Yeah. Would you rather uh, have a stock bike? And you've probably picked it based on the fact, partly, that you like the paint job that already comes with it on a standard, or pay an additional, say, for the sake of argument, £600, 600 mm. euros for a custom painted one. Yeah. And actually, right, what's the most you would spend on a custom paint job? Let us know in the comments section down yeah. below. What would it look like? I mean, we've not even touched on Ali at Fat Creations, Bobby at Colourburn. I mean, the world is your oyster with those yeah. guys. Yeah, oh, well, my mate Jordan had his Cervelo really nicely done. Um, by Custom Flow, mm. really nice bike. Yeah, so get involved in the comments section all about custom paint. Yeah. I love it. I'm not gonna do that wrapping, mate. Yeah? No. How to no. wrap a bike. No, 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 no. No, I'm not, you no are. way, no You're way, doing it. no. Right, hot tech now, and first up, Italian component company, Mike. They've been around for over 100 years, and they've just launched a new chain set. Now, I can probably hear you saying, Great, what's so great about that? Well, the Attiva is not just any old chain set, it incorporates a power meter too, and the good news is it comes in collaboration with German power meter specialists who are now in their 33rd year in the power meter market, SRM. Yeah. Basically the pioneers, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, innovative power yeah. meters. Really. Did you ever see the first ever SRM head unit? No. It was like a laptop. <laughs> it was absolutely huge. It looked like a Fisher Price toy. Nice, but well, well, they know their stuff. There you go. According to Mike, it's available uh, for both SRAM and Shimano, and there's crank lengths from 160 to 175 millimeters. So, well, rules out. Adam Hansen. Yeah, and it's 180. Right? Particular power meter. <laughs> yeah. but the spindle is 24 millimeters, meaning that it's compatible with any bottom bracket yeah. if you use converters. Um, and I guess only the most powerful of riders, of, of which I'm not will miss the oversized <laughs> axle. I wonder where you're going. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think for me, the most impressive thing about well, it is the price. So uh, we're quoted as seeing is one, two, four, nine, 99. Yeah, pounds. In pounds, so we'll put the relevant conversions of currencies up now. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's very competitive for an SRM. Yeah. You think in the past they've been well over 2,000 pounds. Interesting. Hats yeah. off to Mike for that. Yeah, it's still expensive, yeah. but for I an look, SRM. I look forward to seeing that Europe bike, though. Yeah. They've always got some little hidden gems on their stand. Yeah. We're off there in a couple of weeks. We are. It's going to be good. Mm. Now, if a bling custom paint job and a bling performance power meter isn't enough bling for you, then don't worry, because we've got more bling. We've got bling bar tape. How many times can we say bling? Well, even more if we start talking about Bling Matthews. Oh yeah, my favourite rider, Michael Matthews. He's, he's your favourite rider, isn't he? No, but if, if it means we can say Bling more, he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Well, bar tape brand Supercaz has come up with a new bar tape called the Bling Bar Tape. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Supercaz, their bar tape, isn't the most understated stuff, is it? No, I mean, it's, you, you, we've seen it uh, quite often on the bikes of Vincenzo Nibali, uh, Alaphilippe, and also Peter Sagan, uh, but it's certainly quite loud and proud. Yeah, and if that uh, oil slick design uh, bling bar tape isn't for you, I think it's then maybe the prismatic blue is, if you fancy something a little bit more understated, perhaps for your uh, commuter bike or winter bike, <laughs> Whatever bike you put it on, you are going to get heads turning, aren't you? Yeah. And if that's not enough, they even do matching bar end plugs, a mini tool, pump, bottle cages. Well, it's uh, blingtastic. Don't say that. All right. All right, more bling now. An Officina Bataglin. I probably said Officina, totally wrong. But either way, it doesn't matter because we've got another stunning bit of kit for you this week. And it is this new frame set. Now, it's to celebrate or commemorate, I guess, 
the uh, 40th anniversary of Giovanni Battaglion winning the King of the Mountains jersey at the 1979 Tour de France. And while this chroma volato style finish, which offers us kind of translucent color over the chrome frame, is bling. It's nice that, isn't it? It's bling, mate. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. Stunning that. Yeah. Each frame is made from Columbus Spirit HSS tubing and is, well, the tubes are connected together by very bling chrome lugs. Very nice. And if that's not enough bling for you, well, each frame is customised to the rider's specifications after a meeting with Giovanni Battaglin himself. That is so cool, isn't it? It is nice. I love yeah. that. Um, and the cost for the frame is €3,200 a piece as well. Yeah. More bling next week. Cha-ching! It's now time for Screw Riding Upgrades by Upgrades, where you submit evidence of the modifications and upgrades you've made to your bikes or equipment for the chance to win the ultimate prize, the GCN Camelback Eddy water bottle. I don't know where it is this week, Ollie, but as ever, when you're around, things tend to go missing, and I overheard you this morning asking someone else in the office, you don't have to have any spare water bottles, do you? Like, and, and you did say that. You did say that about five past nine. Yeah, Actually, it wouldn't be five past nine. Bottles. It was about quarter past nine. <laughs> I overheard you. I overheard you, that's all I'm saying. Okay. So, we know where it's gone. Well, I anyway, I wasn't here last week. What's the scores? Okay, right. So last week it was between Frank and Christopher, a specialised versus a Cannondale, or maybe the other way around. It doesn't really matter because what matters is the winner. Yeah. And the winner with 60% of the votes was the specialised. So get in one. touch with us to arrange delivery of that GCN Camelback water bottle where Ollie knows the location. I do. Yeah. Right. Shall we do this week's then? Yeah. Right. Who have we got? First up this week, we've got Victor from Deutschland, yeah? That's uh, Victor from Germany. Jenna, Germany. Yeah. Victor found his old road bike while helping a friend move into his new house. Um, the previous owner must have abandoned it in a garage. On closer inspection, the old Shimano group set and most of the other components looked like they were in pretty good shape. Promising. Apart from that, the paint job had seen better days. Oh well, we we know a thing or two about paint jobs and uh, tractors and hydro stuff. dipping. Oh god. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the Victor watched your upgrade series, was inspired, oh, yeah. and decided to have a go. Oh, and man. he decided to repaint the frame using stencils. And uh, Victor is a biochemistry student, um, and so he decided to go full out nerd. Oh it. yeah, I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, you know a thing or two appreciate about that. that. Um, so he fitted some new cables, put the new front wheel in, and this is the result. So there's the old frame there. Root, Joe oh. Root. I wonder if it's anything to do with Joe Root. Might be Joe Root's yeah. bike, that. One of our favourite cricketers after Ian Botham. Yep, yep. He's, well, I, I like him better than Beefy, but anyway. Um, Controversial. Here you go, look at that, right? So he's got on there, and he's, he's got some oh. geek, geeky stuff on there, powered by ATP. Oh, stat. Geeky. Yeah. And also, double helix on the down tube. Oh, double geeky. Yeah. What's that arrow oh. thing on the top tube? What's that mean? That geeky reference is lost on me. I must apologise. I'm not totally yeah. sure what that is. What about the three stripes? Adidas. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. That's what Another German is. brand. Yeah. Yeah, Adidasler. So, uh, yeah, oh, Adolf Dassler. Yeah, that's, to give me his that's, full name. That's, Victor's, that's Victor's ride. Uh, it is. Right, so, I mean, he's done a good job there. He's got flat pedals on it, but it's a nice, that's, that'd be a really yeah. good. Tell you, it looks all right for hand painted. painted. He's done well, yeah. Yeah. He's done well. I like that. He's, yeah, he's yeah, turned, yeah, all right, all right. Well, let's curious. see, let's see what Victor's old roots. Right, Victor takes on Joseph and his wife Amber from Maryland in the USA. Now, Maryland, I understand you say it like this. Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Maryland. But it's, we, we get so many people submitting stuff from Maryland. We do, we? yeah, it's I mean, weird, isn't it? Do you have nothing else to do there? I mean, it's cool. Apart from like eat Maryland cookies. <laughs> I've had those for years. I used to eat those with a big bottle of lemonade. Yeah. Well, I used to drink lemonade. Anyway, now Joseph slowly convinced his wife, Amber, over the years to join him on some trail and road rides. Joseph succeeded enough that two years ago he surprised her with a nicer bike than what she had. Amber comes from a family of butchers, and last year, sadly, the family shop had to close down. As a tribute, they decided to rebuild her bike up properly with Out some- Out of meat. No, not quite, but with some butcher <laughs> flair, right. we could say. Full camp bags, some zip wheels, and uh, most noticeably, Amber worked with a local frame painter on a hand-painted, steak-inspired respray. Try saying that quickly. Hand-painted, steak-inspired respray. 
Uh, the white bits all over the frame are the shapes of fat on different cuts of meat. <laughs> okay. To top it off, Joseph found some of the old Chinelli Cipollini zebra it. tape that he thinks looks a little like bacon. I've never seen black and white bacon, but Joseph, you'll forgive him. Right. It certainly came out unique looking. Um, the photo bomber is Dolly the Corgi. She is surprisingly good at it. Right, so there's Amber with the bike there on the shoulder. Nice. Little, um, Little Dolly yeah, down there. There, yeah. there it is, Dolly the Corgi. So that's how it was. Yeah, that's how it was. Boom! Mm. Look at that! Meaty bike. That's yeah. a very meaty saddle. Oh, and I must apologise actually, the red and white bar tape is red and white, not black and white. I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. Zebra, you said. They're meaty tyres Never seen a red and well. white. <laughs> Never seen a red and white zebra, have you? I tell you what, it's nice and clean, like a set. Yeah. As well. There's another one there of it. Is that the bike going into the abattoir? Ah, that's that's outside of the old butcher shop, yeah. <clears throat> that is go. nice, isn't it? Red hoods that's as well. Really, that's a really cool. The, the nice I thing like about the that story one, behind that. I do like the story behind it. And also, you know, we see lots of cool custom paint jobs. Yeah. One of the things we didn't talk about when we were discussing it is how it's nice when you see something novel that you've not seen before. And yeah. I've never seen a custom paint job that looks like that, to, no. my, to my mind. It's nice, exactly. it's, it's, it's a new thing on me, I like it. And it's so personal actually, to Amber. Yeah. So who's it going to be, Amber or Joseph? Oh well, no, Amber and Joseph, or is mm. it going to be Victor? Yeah, Victor. Yeah, you decide, top right hand corner next week. Well, someone's going to get hydrated, aren't they? They are. Right, it's now time for the Vite Vault, the part of the show which creates controversy, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, we get heated comments. Do you know what, that video we did, how to get super nice in the bike vault. Yeah. This lot, they seem to think we were like, you know, this was gospel. Yeah. You have to abide by these rules. You don't, but it helps. No, it does. There's yeah. a guide that yeah. the rules are made to be broken. And we break the rules consistently. We, we do. So remember, if you've got a bike that you'd like to go into the bike vault or try and get in the bike vault, it's hard to break in, isn't it, quite honestly, uh, use the uploader tool found in the description below. And with no further ado, Ollie is going to rip... Where is it? The bell. Uh, it's over there, mate. Go on then. Do I... Do you yeah. Want, you want to grab yeah. it? Yeah. No, you've got to touch it. I can't get... Come on. Come on. With all the strength. He tr there it is. Oh, right, okay, I'm gonna read it then. Right, go on then, who's first up this week? First up, we've got Linda from Redwood Forest in Victoria, Australia. Um, wow, with her, Mick Dundee. Yeah, <laughs> with her S-Works Tarmac SL6, mate. Okay then, right. Oh, wow, that is, uh, I, do you know, I love the colours of that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, three words, John. I've got go three on. words for you. Go on. Depth of Field. Oh, I like what you're doing. I've got three words. Yeah. Valves don't match. I've got three words, John. Go on. No biggie smalls. I've got three words. Yeah. Trees look good. They do. They yeah. Do. Right, okay, enough of the three I'll words tell you what. <laughs> that we've just made up. Did quite well. Though. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. That is nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful bike. Yep. I love the MV 3.4s and, mm. and the SRAM E-Tap. The paint job on that Specialized is is brilliant as well. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the textbook things have been done though. The accessories have been removed. Bottles Tick. have been removed. Tick. No big saddlebag or anything. Tick. All good. Yeah, cranks almost in the three o'clock. Yeah, position. they're kind of about 250, aren't they, I'd the, say. The tan sidewalls look good. We've got no excess steer at you. Yeah. But there are there are a few in, infractions, minor infractions. Yeah, they are like, minor. You know, aren't the they? valves, the yeah, biggie smalls, smalls and the, you know, the logos not sort of matching. But I think stuff, but. I think that is a super nice bike. Yeah, I think because well, really, I think they've been reading our favourite uh, weekly publication, Amateur Photography. Yes, they have. Yeah. Shall I give it a ring? Yes. Yeah, super nice. Skin of your teeth, Linda. If. The Australians had won the second <clears throat> test in this year's Ashes, that wouldn't have been a super nice. No, most definitely not. Next up. Next up is Ben from Peterborough in England. Uh, this is an old school Ali Bitzer. Uh, now, Ben Whoa. actually left quite an abusive message towards me uh, when submitting this in the bike vault, what saying, say? saying the cranks. Um, don't need to be at exactly three o'clock. They need to line up with the chain state as that looks better. Well, they don't, do they? No. No. Ben from Peterborough, <coughs> you're wrong. Yeah, having worked on cycling magazines for many years, yep. where we photographed bikes routinely, yep. I'm an expert on this. Yeah, and I second that. We're the experts. No. Ben. Anyway, Ben, let's have a look at your bike. 
Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so there it is, the old school. I mean, this is a bike that's been, it's got all sorts on it. Do you know it. what? That, that's... The cow horns are as long as the tri -bars. Yeah, the seat tube and the head tube, the custom paint on there, that does look bling. awesome. Yeah, bling. bling. It's yeah. With, uh, that does look, that's, that's awesome. I love that. Sticker bolt. That's bomb. so cool. Yeah. That is really cool. What um, are those water bottle bolts? Why are they so big? I wonder if it's one of those water bottle stick on. Oh yeah, the magnetic things. Yeah, the magnetic yeah. things maybe. I don't, don't know. know, it might be wrong. Don't know. But yeah. Um, but it's, it's a bit going on, isn't there? It's yeah. A, I mean, it's quite uh, noisy. Yeah, it is a bit noisy. Noisy Yeah, I, I think that the uh, the wall with the rendering and that sort of, I think it's called a bell cast, is it? You know, yeah. It sort of puts the, the rain away from the water. You've also got a stray cable, it looks like underneath like a, an earthing cable or something, I'm not sure. The valves, of course, they don't, you know, it's not the six o'clock position. <laughs> no, um, no. Um, blue rear derailleur, I, 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 there's a lot of things. It, noisy. Yeah. There's a lot going yeah, on there. White noise. It just it just needs to be a bit more streamlined in its message. Mm. There's, there's just too many yeah, messages. That's exactly too that. many messages. Streamlined. Ben, Peterborough, nice, nice bike. Nice, nice Right, okay, who's up next? Next up, we've got Emmett and Isaac Miller from Saragota Springs New York. Uh, he has his bike. Yeah, they, they share it actually. Yeah. yeah, they share. Oh, that's a lovely bike, isn't it? That is great, isn't it? Bikes when I was that age did not look like that. No, they were in black and white for a start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, well. Valves, bang. They've they've nailed it. Biggie Smalls, pretty much. Yeah, I think. Nearly, yeah, nearly, I reckon. Yeah. 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 Um, of course, we don't advise using too big a gear at that young age, do we? Yeah. It could well damage your knees. I think they've done, they've done a good job there. They've got a nice, clean, clean background. And it's a very, oh, it's a very nice yeah. bike, isn't yeah. it? Do you know what? Yeah. It's not very it's, nice. It's it's a super nice. Yeah, super nice. Definitely. Congratulations. I wish I had a bike that nice when I was a Blair age. Yeah. I mean, great. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky. Nice. Right, next up is Adam from Jordanstown in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's a 2000. Uh, no, you said that wrong. Go on. Northern Ireland. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, it's a Bianchi uh, San Remo CX conversion. Look at that. Bit of the A Ooh. missing from the Bianchi. The first thing I've noticed, or Bianchi. Right, Ollie, a few things Three going on here. Three go words. on, go on. Depth of field. Okay. Am definitely Three words. been on amateur photography. Three words? Yeah. Cranks, wrong. Position. Yes, they are. And yeah. no biggie smalls. But, as well. Do you know what? I mean, valves, wrong, wrong position, all that. Biggie. Biggie, almost big. Biggie. Yeah, nearly biggie, biggie. Nearly, yeah. Can't you see? Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there? He lines them up, I shoot them down. <laughs> right. Uh, it's good. It's, it's, a, it's, a nice, it's a really nice bike, and it's really a photographer, really well uh, photographed. And also, he's, he's done a magic photo. Because, yes. How is that bike standing up? Whoa, blowing my mind. Yeah. Well, we know how it's done, don't we? Yeah. Tell them at home, actually, how it's done. So, or, or, or does a magician never reveal their secret? Well, that, I, I think we save this for another time. Programs, actually. Yeah. Maybe that's how to get super nice part two. Yeah, we'll save that. <laughs> yeah, we'll save that. We know how it's done, but we'll save it. <laughs> we, but yeah, we know your secret. They're on the edge of their tricks. seats yeah. right now. Look at them. <laughs> Just look at them. Um, oh, I, David on the bus. He's there. Like, yeah. tell me. I think, right for me, that is a is a nice. Yeah, I think it's a what nice. You see I think it's nice because. I would like to have Biggie Smalls and but six o'clock and three o'clock, all these things. The crank position's not right. No. I'm I'm going. I'm going nice. Okay, Grab. yeah, nice bike. Right. Okay, who is next? Last one next, actually. Next up, Dale. Whoa. Whoa, now we are talking, aren't we? Right, what's that then? John, that appears to be a Pontiac Solstice. We don't see very many of those in Great Britain, do we? We don't. I don't think I've ever seen one, actually. Well, it's it's oh, well, you, you're very familiar with this particular mm. particular motor vehicle. This 2.4 litre tuned five-speed manual lowered racing suspension. Sea guitars, 177 brake horsepower. Uh, peak power output at 6,600. RPM. Now that's not alarmingly high, is it, for a vehicle with a 2.5? No, but rear-wheel drive, yeah. nice, and also 0 to 60 in a respectable 7.4 seconds. Hit me with the top speed, Ollie. Top speed, 120 miles per hour. Now, on the highway, that car averaged about 28 miles per gallon, and around the city, 20 miles per gallon. Respectable, yeah. respectable, Super respectable nice. mileage. 
That's just super nice. More bike fault next week. There we are, nearly time for the end of the show, but don't worry, we've got heaps more great content coming up this week, including I'm gonna be building up that gravelish bike, and well, you've made a video, Ollie, that is going to uh, create a bit of controversy, I think. Yeah, I'm opening up a can of worms, because I've done a video <laughs> explaining why my new Pinarello, which I absolutely love, um, is rim brake and not disc brake. I chose rim brakes deliberately. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that one, and uh, I hope you're gonna monitor the comments in there and break up any fisty cuffs, because <laughs> nobody likes fisty, fisty cuffs. Now, remember, as ever, to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out, including what yeah. he's wearing, our look new, at that. Our new Spain-themed Oh, Merch, check this out. I really like this hoodie, I like the yeah. colour on it. Actually. You're looking it's one of my good ones. Uh, well, if you want to check out two more great videos, I'm clicking on Ollie yeah. and uh, on me. Yeah, where well, your um, gravel bike conversion series has started. Oh, yeah. Check that out if you've not seen it, it's going to mm. be really cool. Grubby little hands. <laughs>